Okay, so welcome to a new one on this channel, and this occasion is the Saturator of Mog. Everything on this guide is in chapters, so if you look at the description or the timeline, you can jump to a section or skip the ones you don't want. If you like this guide, please like and subscribe, and if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee, you can. Everything is at the description. Right, so this plugin has four different parts. You have the drive, which is the main section, then you have the envelope follower, you have the noise section, then you have a CV output, this is really cool. And then you have the settings, which will enable and disable some of the features that are really, really useful. Okay, so I have a kick and snare right here. And it's a very simple kick and, kick and snare. And as you can see, when, the, when this is on, it will let you know how much you're doing. Now, this is a, an emulation of a hardware unit. It's a, you know, overdrive pedal, the saturation pedal. So as you drive more, you have more input, it will give you saturation. And if I turn this off, notice that there's a tiny little difference. Even if we are not driving, we are still getting something. So the input or how hard you drive the uh, plugging or, you know, the emulation of the hardware unit is, you know, important. Now, then you have the drive and the output. So if you drive more, it means that you're inputting more into the unit. So you will get more saturation and the light will let you know how much you're doing. And it's, of course, it will go louder. And at some point, you're starting to get yellow and almost red. This means that you are just overdriving really, uh, the, the uh, plugging really hard. And you get more distortion. Right. Now, if you drive more, of course, it's gonna go loud. So you have the output section. So you drive until you saturate, you get your nice distortion, and then you go down. And one cool thing that this has is that you can, if I double click, it's going to go back to default. You can click on this icon and it will link the drive and the output. So if you drive more, it's going to go down on the output. And you, you know, you got that problem fixed. Now you can go uh, less on the drive. And this means that you're doing less input. So if your input or whatever sound that you're feeding into this plugin is too hot, maybe you can go down. Now, this makes more sense, makes a little bit more sense when we talk about the envelope and we modulate the drive control. But right from the start, this is the main soul of the plugging. You drive, you get your nice saturation, and then you level the output. Right? That's how it works. So this is the main part, overdriving, right? It's an overdrive pedal, and this is the main feature. But the rest of the controls will expand what we can do right here. Okay, so this is an envelope follower. It will listen to incoming signals and react to whatever in signal that you are feeding into this plugin. And then it's gonna take that instruction and it will use it to modulate the drive control. Now, if you don't know what an envelope follower is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it easy so you can see it on a visual way because right now from here, from these controls, it's just, you know, uh, you will need to hear and not see. So I'm gonna go to my DAW and right here I'm inside Bidwick and Bidwick gives you different modules that you can use. So in this case, I'm gonna use the uh, DAW envelope follower. So this will listen to whatever incoming signal you have, in this case, the kick and snare, and it will use it to modulate something. In the case of this plugin, it's gonna be the drive. So if I link this to the drive and I say, okay, so every time I play something, I want to modulate the drive, that is a, this is listening to the waveform of the kick and the snare. And the result is going to be modulating the drive. And how hard is going to do it? Well, depends on the instruction. And notice that here, if I do it from the DAW, we get a visual representation of what the envelope follower is doing. All right. So this is what an envelope, uh, an envelope uh, follower does listens to an instruction and then modulates something. In this case, we don't need to use the envelope follower from the DAW, we can use it from here. So now if I play it, you have the amount, the follow rate and the sensitivity. Now the amount is how are gonna be uh, modulating the drive, how hard. So if I go up, look at that we get something. So the envelope is uh, listening to the kick and the snare and it's just, you know, moving the drive just like this that's what is going on now at the bottom right here you see an env this is how the signal how strong it is and right now it's just pretty smooth so we can drive it just to get more and level the output still makes no change because this listens to the original dry signal and if i go down it's going to be the opposite in this case i'm going to go up in drive 
And now the envelope floor is going backwards. He's doing something like this. Since I'm standing on this position, it's going to go backwards. So we are, you know, providing an inverted modulation. All right, so for now, I'm just going to go maybe up. All right, so right here, the envelope, it needs to be adjusted. It's super smooth. So if you want to go a little bit more aggressively, you have the sensitivity. And the sensitivity will just, you know, make it more sensitive to the incoming signal, which is the kick and snare. And the envelope follower is going to be stronger, so it's going to be a stronger modulation. I'm going to go down and maybe go up in the amount. As I go down on the sensitivity, it's going to be super smooth. So we are just moving it a little bit. As we go up, it's going to be more sensitive. So the envelope follower is just much stronger. And we will do a little bit more. And this is how it sounds. Almost nothing. And then we get it. Now still, the envelope, notice it's kind of a smooth. So then you have the follow rate. If you're all the way too slow, it has this smoothness to the curves. Because at the, end of the, on the, at the end of the day, remember this listens to the incoming signal and creates an envelope. So uh, the envelope is super smooth. If you go all the way too fast, you have a stronger, you know, stronger curves. And the modulation is different. And the envelope light will tell you how it is. Smooth, hard. Now, this depends on which material you're using. If you're using kick and snare, for example, or maybe something percussive, maybe going to the fast is going to give you what you want. It's just stronger, you know, a little bit harder. In this case, I, I, I like how it sounds with percussive. If I'm using a synth or a guitar or something like that, maybe it's a, a good idea to go to something more smooth. But yeah, fast is harder and slow is going to be smoother envelope. All right, so you can tone down the sensitivity, you know, make it less sensitive at the point that we get nothing. So right now the envelope is not being generated because it's not super sensitive to the sound. So you will need to adjust this to taste. And all of this, this envelope section, it's uh, highly reactive to whatever sound you're trying to process. If you have a snare or you have more things, more material, or you have something super loud, then you will need to adjust the sensitivity just, you know, just to match just to fine-tune whatever it is that you're trying to do with the envelope. All right. So that's, uh, you know, what the envelope follower does. It's going to listen to whatever source, and then you need to adjust the controls, and it's going to modulate the drive up or down. So the noise module, it, it doesn't work by default. If I drive, it doesn't matter how much I, I do right here, the tone, it doesn't matter. Because this only works with the envelope, and I, I'm talking about this envelope. That's why you have an envelope amount. Now, the tone is all the way up, so it means that we get the full spectrum of the noise. You have two types of noises, the white noise and you have red noise. Now, right now, we are just, you know, getting nothing. It is because the envelope is not working right here. So, if I go up, we're going to start to get it. So, the envelope amount controls the amplitude of the noise, so it goes louder. Now, we can go towards the other side, and it's going to be a negative instruction, but it's pretty much the same. Now, remember how this works. I'm not going to do a mount, because I'm not going to be, uh, you know, uh, modulating the drive, but we can still adjust the sensitivity, and this will affect whatever it is that we are doing with the noise. Now, we are using the red one, we can do the white one. Now, if it's too bright, because we are using the full spectrum, the tone is going to cut off the higher frequencies, so we get a darker noise. All right, so this is how it works, right? This is the, you know, the noise generator. It's actually pretty simple. It's just noise, and we go up and down in volume, full in volume, uh, following the envelope generator. Now, on the original pedal, pedal, you have some inputs, so you can modulate some of the controls. And this is uh, the main idea of all of this, is to modulate whatever control. And right here, you have the label of all the controls we can modulate. We can modulate the drive, which is going to be this knob. We can modulate the DEMV amount, which is going to be the drive envelope amount, which is this one, right? The amount, this one. Then you have the noise, and this one is talking about the amplitude of the noise. Then you have the noise envelope amount, and then you have the tone, which is going to be this one. 
Right, so I'm gonna go back to defaults and I'm gonna show you how this works because it's super cool. Back to defaults, if I play it, we get the same thing than before. Now, what I want to do, I want to modulate the drive, but I don't want to do it with this envelope from here. I want to do it from here. All right, so what you need to do, you need to right click, and actually you need to click, it will give you a bunch of options. And right here, if you go at the bottom, it's gonna say MF109S, it's gonna be this instance of the plugging, and you can use the envelope or the noise to modulate the drive. And at the bottom, you have an attenuator, which means how much you're gonna be, you know, modulating this. This is an, an attenuator. So, okay, so let's just do it. It's gonna be pretty simple. I'm gonna be doing envelope. It means I'm gonna be using this envelope to modulate the drive. And if you think about this, it, we are pretty much doing the same thing. We can all already do this from the amount here, but this is just a little bit visual. I'm just using this just to show you how this works. So, okay, so we are using this envelope to modulate this drive. If I play it, it seems like nothing is happening. Remember, we have the attenuator. So I'm gonna be going up on the attenuator. And notice what happens. When you patch something to the CVs and you do some kind of, a, you know, provide an instruction, it will give you a visual representation on whatever thing that you're trying to modulate right here. Notice it's going up and it's following the envelope. Now I can make it more sensitive. Now it's super obvious. All right, so we can see what we were able to do with the amount. If I go too fast, notice how it is. I'm gonna make it smoother for now. So this is what we can do. We are using this envelope to modulate the drive. And how much we are doing? Well, we can control it with this uh, attenuator. And all of this, if you know about, you know, modular synthesis, it's just, maybe it's super obvious. Now, with this one, we can go into negatives if you wanted to. That is that we are going down. All right. All right, so it's just pretty, pretty simple. Now, what else? Well, you know, you have other modules that you can modulate. Maybe I'm going to go to noise. And this is going to be the amplitude of the noise. And I'm going to be using the envelope as well. And we are getting it. Maybe I'm going to go down. It's going to be just a tiny little bit. And at the same time, maybe I want to modulate the tone. So I'm going to be going to the envelope as well. And now with the same envelope, we are modulating the drive. You know, we are modulating uh, the... Uh, let me go to something like that. The noise, amplitude, and at the same time, the noise, uh, the tone of the noise. All right, so again, just super cool. Now you can use noise, which is gonna be an unpredictable sound source as a CV uh, input. Also, let me just click it right here. You have a side chain, which means that you can listen to other sound source, not the kick and snare, and use that as an instruction to modulate something. On top of that, you have the DC. And for this one, maybe I'm gonna to need to give you an example. I'm gonna be removing all, all of this so we can start over. Now, DC, it means that you can use it to modulate something. And you can use your DAW to modulate this drive, you know, whatever it is that we want to do right here. So I'm gonna, again, give you an example with Bitwick. I'm gonna to go to this knob, I'm gonna click it. And notice that right here, it says CV drive. So what I can do, I can map it to the drive and notice what's going on right here. It's listening to my mapping, you know, on my DAW, my LFO, and it's just moving the drive up and down. And this is going to, again, modulate the drive. And if I click it, it's gonna be, you know, just like that. Now we can do this on whatever we want, but we need to do the mapping on the DAW. But this is the main purpose of the DC. You can use it to modulate whatever other source. Notice if I disconnect the CV, we are moving this knob indeed, you know, with DAW, but nothing happens right here. We need to do the connection so we can, you know, do it. So another thing that we can do with the CVs, and it's super, super cool, is that these plugging, the, the mock plugins, you know, uh, they will listen to other instances of the plugins. And other instances might have an LFO or some other instruction. So when we go here, it's going to recognize the other plugging and we can use different modules from other plugins. Okay, so right now I have an instance of the uh, Mog Phaser. So uh, when you put this on your DAW on a channel, it doesn't have to be the same channel. Right now I'm using it on the same channel, but you know, this could be on a different channel. Uh, right now when you go to CVs and you click, it's going to recognize the other module. And the other module has in this case, the phaser has a phaser side, but then it has an LFO. So we can connect to the LFO that we have right here, the phaser, and use it on this pedal. That's, you know, the main idea. 
So again, I'm gonna go back to defaults and I'm gonna use the LFO. And maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna use the noise so we can have something you know obvious. So I'm gonna go to noise and I'm gonna I'm gonna be selecting the LFO. And is that right from the start we are getting it. Now we all are also getting the phaser sound from the phaser. Now you can turn it off. And we are not processing any sound with the phaser. Now what I can do with the phaser is LFO sync. So now I'm gonna be syncing to this LFO. And we are just, you know, doing that modulation or taking the instruction of the LFO from the other plugin and doing it right here. I can play it. All right, if you want to tone it down, we can just go for a tiny little bit. Now, this is just an example I'm giving you. You can use whatever you want from other plugins, but you can, you know, you connect to a different uh, different pedal and use different uh, modules to do whatever you want right here. That's the plan. Well, let me disconnect it right here. I'm going to go to the drive so we can see it moving. I'm going to be going to here and I'm going to take the LFO and I'm going to be going up. So notice that we are taking the LFO and we start from this point and then we go up following whatever LFO that we have right here. And if I turn it on, and for now I'm just going to sync it. So we are kind of uh, doing it, right? But, uh, the, but the instruction is unipolar. It means that it starts right here and then it goes up and down, but the starting point is here. If you click here, you can make it bipolar. It means that it will go up and down instead of just up and back to the original point, right? So this is what the bipolar means. All right. So as you can see, uh, this is a saturation pedal, but you have extended controls. You have the envelope, the noise, and if you sold the sire to, uh, to modulate with something else, you can do it with the DCs. And if you want to modulate it with, you know, some other pedal from Mach, you can use the uh, modules just to do, you know, whatever you want. All right, so we have a couple more things. Uh, you get this on pretty much the whole line of the mock pedals. If you go to settings, you will have extended controls. And this is on all the different pedals. Notice that you have different options. In this case of the phaser, it's gonna be this. In the case of the, the uh, saturator, it's gonna be this. Uh, so uh, the, the settings are pretty useful. Right now, the envelope is mono, which means that when we get the envelope follower, it's just going to listen to one single source and it will generate one envelope uh, for left and right. So if you have a stereo sound, a stereo signal, the envelope is going to be the same for left and for right, but maybe you just don't want to do this. So if you have stereo sound and you have something in the left and something in the right, the envelope can listen to stereo. But now, of course, the envelope is going to do something with the left channel and something else with the right channel. And it's going to modulate differently whatever it is that you're mapping right here to, you know, as a modulation. So you can do this and it's super cool that you can. Now then you have the response. This is the response of the envelope. It's going to be uh, exponential or it's going to be a little bit smoother. So this changes the smoothness of the envelope. Now the tone in this case is going to be for this tone. And if I, you know, go up just to get something, maybe I'm going to be disconnecting the CV. So we get something a little bit more static. So if I go to settings, you can do a bandpass. And notice how, how we, everything changes. Now, by default, on the noise, we are doing a low pass. We are cutting the highs. But you can change that to a band pass, a notch, or a high pass. And of course, you will get different sounds. And also, the noise, by default, is mono, but you can make it stereo if you're using a stereo source, of course. All right. Okay, so, right, so that's it. This is the plugin. It's a really cool saturator with extended controls. So hopefully you understand how this works. And if you liked all of this and you find it useful, please like and subscribe. And if you have the money and you want to buy me a coffee just to say thanks, you can go to the links at the description or you have the QRs at the screen. Okay, so see you on the next one.